being laid off or who's going who's to lose their jobs. Uh, social services aren't for now. They got the, the bonding through, so they're good for a year, but only a year. If they can't find $2 million next year, it'll pop up again. As the local finance board chairman, uh, Thomas Knapp, mentioned. But they, there was this clip, and here is, uh, remember when they closed Oak Ridge, privatized golf, they gave you a little hint? Well, here are the hints from this year. However, we continue to look at the budget as a 12-month work in progress, and we are working to implement reforms in several other areas the county manager identified for reform in his executive budget. Reynolds Specialized Hospital continued to oper operate at a deficit of about $11.3 million at the close of 2011. Watch on Stables is running at a deficit of $600,000. The county jail costs approximately $55 million a year to operate. We have embarked on a feasibility study to privatize the Watch on Stables that will occur in conjunction with our stakeholders in the community. We requested permission from the Division of Local Government Services to examine privatizing the operations of the jail competitive contracting, and we are developing strategies for an RFP. As I previously referenced, we are seeking to privatize the dietary and housekeeping services at Ronald's Hospital through competitive contracting and laundry services through public bidding. As part of the competitive contract, the county will require the vendor to give current employees in good standing the first right of refusal for any employment opportunities that arise as a result of the contract. It should also be noted that employees and or their representatives shall be permitted to respond to the, to the competitive contract proposal, <coughs> giving them the opportunity to retain their jobs and meeting our goals of efficiency and cost savings. If employees are represented by an organization that has negotiated a contract with the contracting unit, meaning the county, only the bargaining unit shall be authorized to submit such recommendations or proposals. And similar to what we do with the juvenile detention center, we are also exploring options to lease unused portions of the hospital for residents. That's it. Runnels is going. They're gonna. Whoever wants to buy a hospital, well, a nursing home, you know, they they can get it. And it's there. It's gonna go. You know, just a matter of who puts up whatever deal. And yeah, that that's a that's a done. That's you know you know Oak Ridge was a slam dunk. This is even more. Uh, Next thing is Watsunk Stables. They said $600,000 deficit, which I think is a recycled number. I think Oak Ridge was $600,000 as a deficit, too. It's somewhere in that. They're losing $600,000. How they could lose $600,000 on a stable? A stable. Uh, I mean, farrier service is, is fairly expensive, but, they, you know, that's it. That, that's going. As soon as they can find anybody who wants a stable, that's gone. And privatize the jail. It, the, again, you, you saw cost $55 million to run a jail. Well, there's the, your hint. How are they going to privatize it? And, and the thing about privatization, what, what the savings there is the employees' benefits. That's the main thing. Uh, maybe salaries, too, are a little lower, but the benefits number is huge. If you get a, get a private company in there, they're not going to give them the state health plan and a defined benefit plan with uh, which the ODR to put the higher the cost, they're going to give them a dinky 401k plan and you know, you know Obamacare. So that's where the savings is, and that's where it's going. If you're a jail guard, you maybe got a year of this these benefits. Uh, after that, it's out of here. And just let us see what they did with the Oak Ridge people, uh, Greens Keepers. Uh, we'll keep you around. You know, you want to stay with us? Go to Kemper and take what they give you. And that's. For Runnels, uh, Watsunk Stables, if there were, I don't, I don't really know if Watsunk Stables has much of a staff outside of Mitch LaPala. They got, they got that one guy sitting up there making $89,000. He just said that. Yeah. Oh, 100. is that the guy? Yeah, it was over 100000 No, No, that's LaPala over at the... Uh, he's at the stables now. Oh, look, he's at the stables now? Well, that's two guys. There's one guy making like, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. So that's, Go ahead. that's him. So that's gone. That's... Uh, that, that could pop up any time. I mean, it's, you know, they said it, so apparently they're looking at it. They might have even decided already somebody's owning a stable. Uh, but anybody who counts on this, like the Ruttles, the, the jail, like how, I don't know how you could count on a jail, but who goes to Watson Stables, a service there is going to, uh, you know, uh, you're not going to have 
uh, the employees who are really want to keep their jobs, but who you knows? Maybe they'll get a nice private contractor and do it. And you know, that's beyond me. I don't know. From what I've heard, it's not a lot better at the golf courses now that Kemper's running it. The one time I went, there was the, the people there didn't seem to. The workers there weren't terribly jolly. Uh, so you can count on that coming.